In this video, I'm going to give you guys 10 tips to rank up faster in Apex Legends Mobile. I wanted to make this video only after I reach Predator, so I can give you guys my tips and tricks and whatever the things I learned during my rank push. So let's begin. The number one tip is don't jump into ranked matches right away. You need to do warm-ups before playing ranked matches because you might lose points in your first match due to your aim is not on point and all those things. Whether it's firing range, pub matches, multiplayer, whatever you want to do, do some warm-ups before jumping into ranked matches. I would suggest you to do 10 minutes of firing range and 2 TDM matches before you jump into your ranked match. The second tip is playing with a team. I know a lot of you guys are solo queuing and commenting in my videos, you can't rank up. It's because Apex Legends Mobile is a team based game, so you need a team. I also tried solo queuing, I know it's not the way. So I tried to find a team on Twitter and Discord servers and I played on multiple teams using whatever legend that fits the team and that's how I ranked up. So playing with the team is really important when you're trying to rank push. The third tip is avoiding hot drops when you're trying to rank push you should avoid hot drops you don't want to be dropping on capital city losing your first fight getting hashtag 20 placement and losing two or three hours progress in one match you should avoid hot drops land on the sites if a team comes with you you can take fight or you can rotate to another poi it's your choice but avoid hot drops when you're rank pushing the fourth tip is understanding the kp system Apex Legends Mobile has a system called KP system which will reward you with rank points. KP basically means your kills and assists. The max KP in a ranked match is 6 KP. Whether you get 6 kills, 0 assist, 3 kills, 3 assist, 0 kills, 6 assist, you are going to get the same points. Your kills and assist combined should count to 6. That's all you need to do. Anything you get above that, you are not going to get any rank points. So when you hit 6kp, you should start playing safe and play for placements. Placements are really important in Apex Legends Mobile's current rank system. So at least you need to secure the number 2 or even number 1 spot for the max points in the match. Tip number 5 is using survey beacons. Survey beacons are a thing you can find in Apex Legends Mobile in multiple POIs. Scanning them will reveal the next safe zone's location. That's a really crucial information. You can use that to rotate early or gatekeep teams and do all kinds of stuff. Currently in Season 1, Bloodhound and Pathfinder can scan the survey beacons and reveal next safe zone locations. So try to include them in your team so you can benefit from this. Tip number 6 is avoiding solo fights. Playing as a movement legend, I know a lot of you guys play alone and trying to take 1v3 fights. That shouldn't be the case when you're rank pushing because your opponents are also skilled. If you go take a 1v3 fight, most likely you're going to get killed and you're going to put your team at a disadvantage. So when you play as a movement legend, when you spot enemy, try to regroup with your teammates and take proper 3v3 fights. So your team and you will have higher chances of winning that fight and taking that number one place and hitting the max points. Tip number seven is team composition. I can understand you're choosing your legend based on your playstyle and their ability set. But when you're rank pushing, that's not going to work. You need to play as any legend that fits your team and that's going to help you and your team in the battle. The most used legend in Season 1 is Caustic. Not everyone likes to run him, but you'll see one Caustic in every single team in higher rank. It's because of the abilities and the way he fits in the team. The gas traps and gas grenade are going to be really useful holding a building and in the final fights. That's why every team has a Caustic. You need one that will help you and aid you in fights and help you win. You need a legend that will assist you in fights and help you win games. That's how you choose your legend when you're rank pushing. The 8th tip is disengaging from fights. If you have started the fight and one team gets knocked, it's okay to disengage and recover his banner later. Or if you get third party when you're already fighting, it's okay to run away, reposition, reset the fight, then you can take the fight once again. It's not a cowardly thing to do. 
Placement points are really important than kill points in Apex Legends Mobile's current ranking system. Instead of fighting 6 people, you can reset and take a proper 3v3 fight and most probably you are going to win and take the placement points as well. So disengaging is a really good thing to do. You should do when you get third partied or when your teammate gets knocked and you realize you cannot win the fight. You can run away and reset. You can take the banner and respawn anytime. So you should do that. Tip number 9 is ratting. When both of your teammates get killed, you need to survive in the game to get placement points. And in Apex Legends Mobile, in higher ranks, if you get top 3, you are not going to get minus. In top 2, you are going to get like 10 or 20 points. So instead of losing points, you can actually go positive. Even if it's plus 0, you are not losing any points. People always think rank push is all about gaining points. It's basically about not losing points. So if both of your teammates get killed, you need to survive, you need to rat in corners and all that thing, then you need to secure number 3 or number 2 spot so your squad doesn't get any minus or negative points. So ratting is not a bad thing if you do it correctly. Number 10 is taking breaks. Even the number 1 player on the leaderboard will have bad games, like really bad minus, minus 110 and something like that. When you get games like that or when your team loses fights because of your teammates, instead of arguing and fighting and raging, you should take a little break, reset your mind and you can start playing again and get those points back. If you keep playing when you get a minus in a bad kind of mental state, you are still going to lose more points and more points and eventually you will end up deranking one tier. You don't want that to happen so so take breaks often keep your minds fresh if you want more tips and tricks videos like this subscribe to the channel and that's it for the video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one they're raping each other they're raping each other Yeah, that's one.